thinking from the end. The philosophy and teachings of the mystic Neville Goddard emphasize the concept of thinking from the end, which encourages individuals to envision their desired outcomes as though they have already transpired. This optimistic vantage point is instrumental in drawing aspirations into manifestation, grounding them in the reality of one's experience. It is an innovative and powerful approach to problem solving and setting goals, and it is deeply woven in almost all elements of our daily lives, regardless of whether we're mindful of its prevalence or not. At the core of Neville Goddard's teachings is the belief in the creative power of thought. He asserted that we are, in fact, the creators of our own reality, and that our mental states give shape to the situations and events we encounter within the physical world. This perspective places a significant emphasis on the individual's personal autonomy and responsibility. With this comes the daring to dream and the freeing potential to truly alter one's life for the better. But this is not merely about blind optimism, but rather a proactive stance towards visualization and manifestation of aspirations. Adopting this posture, where one thinks from the end, requires a paradigm shift, a somewhat radical departure from conventional thinking. It is not about fretting over all the possible obstacles that can prevent one from reaching their goal. Instead, it is about picturing oneself at the finish line, having already achieved the dream. This visualization goes beyond seeing. It's an immersive process that involves all really feeling and grasping the reality of the end. And it's this emotive conviction that drives the process of conversion from dream to realization. In our daily lives, this application could bring about surprising changes. Consider the example of a person who wishes to improve their physical health and fitness. Instead of becoming overwhelmed by all the steps and efforts necessary to achieve their goal, they can incorporate Goddard's idea of thinking from the end. They might picture themselves as already having reached their desired level of health, living the lifestyle that accompanies it. This vision serves as a guide, providing motivation for the tasks necessary to actualize this desire such as regular exercise and healthy eating. On the other hand, in terms of faith-based life, Goddard's concept bears significant relevance. Relevance as well, much like prayer or meditation, thinking from the end is a practice that's deeply rooted in belief, an intimate encounter with one's deepest wishes and fears. Similar to how an individual might pray for strength or guidance, believers are encouraged to visualize themselves already in possession of or having accomplished what they seek. This strong faith serves as a blueprint for which the divine force can manifest their desires. It's a dynamic process wherein the believer's confidence and their expectation work in tandem with their faith to bring about the desired end. However, the concept of thinking from the end is by no means a quick fix, solution, or a method to coax the universe into delivering one's material works. Instead, it's an invitation to reclaim personal power, to acknowledge the dynamism of thought and its ability to shape one's reality. It encourages individuals to lead their lives with purpose and consciousness to actively participate in carving their destinies. It is stepping stone towards self-empowerment and spiritual maturity. In conclusion, Neville Goddard's philosophy encourages us to dare, hope, dream, and confidently envision our end goals. Thinking from the end is not merely a route to self-improvement or success, but a broader conceptual framework that underlines a profound truth about our existence, that we are the ultimate architects of our reality. We are invited to explore this radical and inspiring way of thinking, applying it to our daily life and faith practices, learning to subtly harness the power of our thoughts in the process of our evolution. Thank you.